Alrighty folks, looks like we are getting ready to bring you the Overwatch Grand Finals. You excited? I'm pretty excited. What I'm not excited for is for computer crashes, but we should <laughs> be okay. Fingers crossed. We have Wi-Fi set up. We're off Ethernet. We do not. Um, <laughs> hopefully things aren't going to go bad for us this time around. We did disconnect once during that break, but hopefully things will turn out in our favor. Regardless... Overwatch Grand Finals. Carl College versus Shriner University. I am excited to see what these teams bring to the table. Carl College has been pretty dominant so far in Overwatch uh, during this tournament. Didn't drop a game in prelims. Uh, were pretty oppressive so far as well. During semifinals. Shriner, though, can punch up a fight. We'll see what they bring to the table here today in Caraville. First map up, as usual, is 2CP. Looks like King's Row is currently high lagging, so. Well. Might be the map of choice. That's hybrid friend. <coughs> Regardless, we do not. see the usual uh -huh. lineup from Colorado College. Maple's cruising in. We have Coral Trigger, Free Mystic Monkey, Confidence, and NTP all on board today. Shriner's rolling out with what looks like they're. Starting lineup, from as far as I can tell. <coughs> You're watching from home. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Let's see what these two teams can pull out for us this morning. Looks like the storm is over, as far as I know. Uh, it seems a little bit sunnier outside. Still pretty cloudy. But that's How much okay. Sunlight coming in. <laughs> I now we're surviving off of actual lights. I don't mind the clouds. Clouds are nice, but that sunlight was also pretty nice. Coming in from the top windows. <laughs> flashing in our faces. Not flashing in, that was actually uh sliding warm, us up a little. Warm bath of light. Exactly. We're bathing in sunlight. Bathing in sunlight. So you're from Arizona. What, east of Flagstaff? And sunlight. No. Uh, west of Flagstaff. No. No? <laughs> South of Flagstaff? West of Phoenix. West of Phoenix. Isn't that also west of Flagstaff, though, at the same time? No, Flagstaff's way up north. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know my Arizona. Sorry. Flagstaff. I know where Prescott is. is. But that's basically it. The <laughs> coolest part about Arizona is that it doesn't obey daylight savings time, actually. A what? Doesn't obey daylight savings time. Yeah, right. it's just pretty nice. Doesn't care about that. There you go. We'll say. So you, you never had to experience that until you moved up north to Colorado. We'll stick to the same time throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Works out pretty well. So that's mm -hmm. that. Colorado College looks like they're almost ready here. So it will be Kings Row after all. As a first map of choice, and now we're entering the game. Kyle College probably going to play someone like Sombra here on the attack. Although Actually they aren't running Bobbitson today. Might do something differently. We've seen Bobbitson and Kings run in the past. It's been very effective. Yeah. Um, Shire University on the defense first. We'll see what they elect to pull out of the gate. Uh, Safehawk asked, what's the schedule? Um, I'm not super sure about the schedule yet, but after this, we will be streaming some Fortnite. And after um, that, those some League those of Legends. Those semis and finals have to happen, and then after that, we have League of Legends. That's the generic schedule. So the schedule. times are tentative. Times are indeed tentative, which is why I mentioned that I wasn't super sure about it. I know it's coming. Yeah. I don't know when it's coming. But regardless, stay tuned. We'll have some action for you. <coughs> Shriner rolling out of the gate here. They're going to play what looks to be mostly some goats with some Samra. Colorado College going to be playing their usual picks with the ball and Ana instead. Dismal cords in the back line for Doing the intel. Scabby. We notice ball, we notice the rest of the composition. He's now called it out to his team. The team should be expecting it. 
It's gonna a push little too close. Yeah, it's going to push right through the rest of Colorado College. Look at that little translocator. Really still sitting under the statue. Now gets spotted. But Entity's already going in hard. Fight Fine. on point. Maple gets taken out as he's hacked and removed from the fight here. Entity with the shield still holding it up. Coral and Common is coming up with kills each. Cryptic Lord finds a trade on to Entity. 2-2 two to two right now. Car College finds himself in a tight situation here. Maple arrives just in time. It's going to pile drive the back line. Pick off Wolfpack. Nicely from Confidence. Puts Youngly on the ground. Maple is here for the backup. They're going to force this fight. Probably take out Young Lee. He goes down. Nice anti from <laughs> Confidence here. We'll find Lucio to take out Benjikus. Now Car College, College has found their stride. It will effectively take out Shriner University from this four first point. Already coming up on the second tick here very soon. Looks like you know, Shriner University is not giving up quite yet. Shriner wants to rally in here. Earthshatter from Entity will stun most. That's not Earthshatter. Sorry, that was a charge. Ooh. Earthshatter into the shield of Young Lee, but they'll have the point captured already. They're going to force this fight with Sound Barrier. Things are happening. Pogara finds three. Fire Strike through them. Shriner versus taking a lot of damage here. No picks yet. Colorado College is going to force this fight. They recognize that this is the time to go. They'll find three in this Graviton, but they'll have Transcendence to counteract that, as well as Sound Barrier from Shriner. Urshad are going to find one on Shriner's side. Colorado College still forcing the fight. Halo is being pushed. Here's a EMP two. from Dismal Core to slow things down. Uh, probably wasn't necessary. Coral very charged. Young Lee also straggling here. Carlo College will find themselves the victors of this fight. Cart still being pushed. Not sure who's on, exactly it. on it. I would assume it's Maple. Some folks from CC go back to the cart to push it. Coral looking for charge. Finds the what he needs. Got about 75%. He's taking a lot of damage though. He'll be okay. It's it hacked. Tough, but no Maple worries. finds two. Nice. Maple's a boo. Finds two, it looks like. Now, Entity going in hard. Finding the pin onto Wolfpack way back in there. The Brick finds herself isolated, getting ran over by the Colorado College team. Mystic Monkey trying his best to chase her out. Doesn't Don't know if he has the damage. There we go, with the help of Coral. She will be dying there very soon. Triversity packed to the corner here. We heard an Earth Shatter. It looks to be Entity's on the right hand side somewhere. Fine, too. With that. Car College doing a good job of pushing them way deep into their spawn. Three members of Car College still sitting on the payload. Maple just pushing that for free this entire time. Maple looking as the cart person. Carl tries to find <laughs> the jump. Can't really quite find it. Gets hacked. Has a Graviton available. Shriner pushes up really far here into the Graviton, looks like. Fine. Big Screener. damage. Sound barrier is there to protect them. Oh. Carl falls off the map. And gets on the boob, looks like. <clears throat> Shriner's own Graviton is here, but we have a Transcendence to counteract that one. Rally popped by Z Star or Starscream as well. Carl College is a little bit broken here. They'll choose to re-engage, but NT will fall, so that'll be Shriner's win. This one right now. finds another one. Maple finds himself way up here by himself. We'll wait on the hook so he can roll out. And there you go. Pretty safely. So now Carl College is gonna have to regroup probably do one last final push before they're able to push the payload all the way through. <coughs> Decimal Chords carrying EMP might turn the fight in Shriner's favor. It's looking for it and to be up pretty far. Does Ooh, not shattered. hack before the shadow right goes right. down. Hasn't popped that Maple. yet, but Minefield is there. Decimal Chords still holding on to EMP. Now decides to use it. That's Trigger interesting. Free. Finds himself in some danger with that EMP. Loses entire shield, but Sombra not able to find the kill on him, and that's going to be Colorado College round one. I'll move on to the next map here. That's our next round.
Shrine University. Shrine now on the attack. Need to figure things out. Colorado College on the defense. Three minutes, 30 to spare for the next attack if Shriner goes all the way here. I'll put Trigger Free on Hanzo here for their damage. Mystic Monkey on Zenyatta. They will play the usual ball for disruption. Shriner gonna play a fairly similar composition. Not a ton of damage on their side. Comfort Lord on Diva is a great pick here. Able to eat Gravitons, able to eat Dragon Strikes, and to block some of the damage coming out of his team. Fire Strike from Entropy does not hit anybody here. Hands a little high. Storm Arrows go out, don't find the targets. I was going to force their hand. Entropy has a cool Ooh. charge on a Benjikus. That was pretty clutch. Nice anti as well. Fire Strike up through the team of Shriner. Kyle College recognizes the attempt, finds that they are up two folks. We'll push in for the win of this fight. Shriner backs to the house. Ooh, hand almost successful onto a break. Gets stunned out simultaneously. Coral Boy will pick that one up. Entropy suffers a lot of damage, but it's still okay. The bubble here is pretty good. We'll find the trade on Young Lee. No picks yet for Shriner. Okay. Need to regroup. Color Call is coming up a little bit too far. They're going to have the calls to back back up to their choke. Young Lee will now be regrouping. I see if they find another successful push. Shriner going through Hotel here, looking for Ultra Angle of Attack. No picks. Air Shatter into Entity's Shield. Storm Arrows are good. Dragon Strike from uh, Trigger Free is also there. And he becomes a big with three kills, a pin and a Fire Strike kill. Ooh, we'll find Wolfpack the headshot. taken out. Onto to Wolfpack. Cryptic Lord finds himself way back in there. Coral's going to pick him out. Shriner trying to force their hand through Hotel. Dump Earth Shatter into a shield. Not most optimal. Wolfpack without Transcendence as well. And they find themselves down a couple ultimates here. Maple looking for the pile driver and Minefield. Here's Minefield. Pile driver is there as well. Minefield Ooh, finds, finds two. two. Wolfpack taken out as well. Oh, and to be with the pin onto Zarya. Now they'll be ganging up on Reinhardt. That's gonna be the end of him. Brigiga might be in trouble here. As the entire entirety of Colorado College team will be pushing up. Instead, so they'll be backing up and resetting this push. Trying there with the 1 minute 30 left in the round. They need this capture point. Colorado College comes to Graviton. Big Ooh. anti as well. That will wipe Trainer off the map here. Dismal Chords, not sure where they are. How they're in the house. I mean, team kill here for Colorado College. Trigger is going to be setting up up high on the statue, laying down some fire from above. I see if you can do some damage to the shield, even better find a pick. I'd like to see a coordinator assault from Shriner here. They have EMP available, could make a pretty quality fight happen for them. You got Pitch that Translocator in there. His little cords nowhere to be seen. Shriner are going to force. There's the EMP I was talking about. Finds at least five. Actually, six man EMP out for Shriner. Could be huge for them. Entomy goes down with Earth Shatter available. Carlo College hacks now worn off. They'll pop uh, Nano Boost and Transcendence. Here's Shatter from Shriner. So we find the photo down for Carl College. This is the fight Shriner University was looking for. Already finds the first take onto the point. Someone steps off, and now they're going to be back on it. Points being captured Reinhardt. for Shriner. Exactly what they needed. They'll grab this point and start pushing this payload. Quality six man EMP from Dismal Chords turns that fight in their favor. Now they have to take these next couple fights with that in mind. Color Calls making no swaps at this time. How's ever Lucio? This is Monkey Corp. Now Lucio. Ooh. Trigger free tag by Dismal Chords. 
Nice pick there. Maple is hacked. No rolling for him. It's pretty shredded, but not going to fall today. And to be alone-ish, but has plenty of health. Here is a minefield and a pile driver from Maple. EMP finds four on the side of Colorado College. Maple on the cart, though. Rest of trying are trying to fight the front line of Colorado College. Maple comes to support. Ooh. Nice <coughs> pushing from Maple. Rowley gonna be tossing them into Graviton. Young Lee with the Earth Shatter. Ooh, Young Lee with an ass pin onto Ana. They keep pushing forward, pushing them all the way to the payload checkpoint. Colorado College will be forced to back off. Payload still being pushed by one man of Shriner University. Colorado College still going in strong. Already back ready for the next fight. Colorado College needs to force a fight here soon. He's be doing his best to, be, to push up. Trying to stop this payload from reaching the checkpoint. The Graviton right. is there. Coral and Mr. Monkey and Maple are stuck in it. They'll all be eliminated. Nice fight from Shriner. Shriner University able to find that checkpoint. Trigger free dragons are going to come out. <laughs> He's going to be unfortunately falling off the map with a boot from Benjikiss. Carl Carl is going to find a counter for Sombra here. See if they can lock down this last section of King's Row. To be pushing up this forward. one looks pretty strong. Has Shatter available. Shatter will find two. Pile Dryer finds at least three. Nice fight from Colorado College finds early two picks. Dismal Chords nowhere to be seen. Fork Shriner probably shouldn't toss EMP just yet. They're going to hold on to it. Nice choice there. Dismal Chords still finds himself way into the back line. We'll be ready for the Shagger, I mean for the EMP as soon as the whole Shriner University regroups. Our college was able to find that good team fight they needed to stop Shriner University's momentum, but EMP coming out huge here. Finds for four, Shriner. looks like. This might get immediately eliminated. So I'm for Shriner might turn this fight around. They find two for Colorado College. Shriner University still pushing Art on the offensive all the way deep into their spawn. Confidence currently solo healing, doing her best work. Transcendence pop by Wolfpack. Could have been a misclick there. It's going to be pretty crucial in the next fight. Shriner overall wins the fight, but not going to have the cart push that far. Now that Carl College is back in full strength. Ooh, Earth nice Shatter anti, from Entebbe doesn't find much. I do find Young Lee, though. Anti grenade is good there. Now they'll be focusing on to Benjikis, finds himself way deep in there. Maple gonna knock up two, trying to see if they can finish them off. There we go, Wolfpack will be going down to the hands of Maple. Sombra, so strong right now. 75% ult charge by just using it. Might have back up in the next 30 seconds for this final push from Shriner. Carlo College needs to be aware of that split up as far as possible. You saw Confidence didn't really get hit by that EMP. They were far back enough. Carl College has Nana Boost available. Maple is hacked. Oh, He's he in could trouble. Be down. He'll there be he goes. Taken out. It's a crucial pick for Shriner, but they are caught in Graviton. Oh, Confidence finds two kills with the grenade. Now a beat's gonna come in, coming out for Carl College as they keep pushing hard. Three seconds left on the clock. Shriner University is not gonna be able to find that one, and that's gonna be win for Carl College. We saw Shriner there find a good EMP, but they were distracted by Maple in the back line. The team was split up. Call College recognizes this, throws Graviton, finishes up their front line. Oh. So I got to see that grenade. That's going to be the team kill for Call College that earned them the play of the game. So. That was a great push by Shriner University. Almost had them, to be completely honest. They were able to put the payload very far in there. Probably just one more fight. And they uh, could have possibly took it into overtime.
I'm just reading some updates here from the folks at Shrine about the League. I'll wait till they finalize those. <clears throat> Regardless, Shrine are putting up a pretty quality attack there, using Somber EMP effectively. Carl Call has found a way to avoid it. Basically, a strat there is to spread out as much as possible. Um, that last EMP they had, they found Lucio from Color College, found Zenyatta from Color College. Immediately, when it immediately eliminated them, but confidence playing Ana was far back enough that EMP wasn't going to hit her. Mm -hmm. So they had those solo heals. They were able to stick the defense out long enough to get the teams back in there. So Color College takes that one. Current score 1 0. And it also looks like there will be some substitutions coming out from Carl College. Two people are currently out. Couldn't tell you who will be coming back in. Might see some Bobbits in action here. More than likely. Maple goes out. As well as... We'll keep the core folks, though. Coral. Looks like we will be banning out Hannah Mora. So, looks like next map will be 2CP. We'll see what Shrine University elects to play for this second round. <coughs> Mabel comes back in. I'm going to keep on playing this one. Might see some Bobbitson in place here. Indeed. Some folks down the floor taking this time to catch up on homework, looks like. <laughs> Wise choice. Pretty fair. Uh, keep up your college academics while at these events. Despite the fact that you're here all weekend. The world still goes on. Your academic life still moves forward. I know mine does. <laughs> 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 I'm definitely worried about it a little bit, but what can you do? Folks know. Unfortunate. What are you taking right now, Marco? Uh, Calc 1. Calc so 1? That's exciting. I have no homework this weekend. What? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the midterms. Shout out to the midterms. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Regardless, teams are fully built. Looks like they're going to pick up Horizon Lunar Colony as a possibility. They will, indeed. We'll be locked in here. We'll see ourselves traveling to the moon today. And potentially space. Monkey habitat. Well, the moon is Not in space. Really. I think, it's I think a Winston like, habitat. Oh, Winston habitat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the moon is indeed in space, Marco. Yeah, but you can go out to space. Ah, I see. You're still inside. It's You're true. Confined within the building where Nobody's gravity actually exists. Overwatch heroes live in space in that little section of horizons. Like, you're just out there. I guess it's like in a bubble. That's my guess. The gravity's not affected. Regardless, we are here on Horizon Lunar, Kyle College, on the attack first. We'll see if they can pull off a round again here. Looks like GOAT compositions were pretty successful for both teams. A little slight variation, Shriner preferred the Sombra while Carl College chose the Hammond. This time we have Boppetson, so we could be seeing a Sombra of our own. Has been known to play that quite often. We saw an interesting defense from Carl College on Horizon Lunar Colony last time with the Bastion. Looks like Shriner going to do a similar sort of play. Oh, they will be going for it. Is playing Sombra now with Bobbinson. Saw the strength of Shriner's EMPs last game. We'll see what Color College looks to do with that this time around. Shriner potentially playing a <clears throat> Torbjorn as well. Only running one shield and a D.Va though. Might be weaker than they expect. Sombra is very good here, I think, to Shriner. Yeah. Hopefully once Carl College realizes what is going on, they'll be able to counteract the Bastion and Torbjorn. 
Maple might see himself taking a lot of damage here as he rolls out of the gate. He's going to recognize the Bastion and the Torbjorn turret, though. <laughs> Watson <laughs> is sneaky. Those Bastion noises are quite ear <laughs> Maple this on top. Coming. We'll push off Starscream. That's pretty crucial. That's a lone Orisa. He's being healed yeah, by Mercy, though. shield is though. now gone, so Dismal Quartz can be getting focused. There is a Wiggle on him. A few more shots. Not going to fall down. This Golden Quartz going to hit himself with a self-heal. Back out of that one. Now Kara College finds himself in a better position. Trigger uh, free up on the high ground. We'll take out the turret from Young Lee. Not sure we'll choose to put that down again. Bopison does find Young Lee as well. It's one pick down for Shriner. Kara College now looking to take the point. Maple alone gets absolutely deleted. Looks like Kara College is a little bit disjointed, but they do find two picks in the meantime. But Bopison does fall down. The confidence going to revive M to B. So they could be electing to go back in, and that is the choice. And to be, we'll be diving the back line with his Tesla cannon, trying to see if we can find some damage. We'll have to back out. Trigger free. Fine stop on a wolf pack. Nice headshot. Trigger free getting aggressive with the Widow. Getting up close and personal, finding those headshots onto the Orissa. A lot of damage. Call College win that fight. Take the point. Shiner most likely not going to contest here. They'll try to set up their defense on the second point and set Young Lee still on Torbjorn. Trigger freeze. They will find a pick. It could be very crucial as they'll be finding a man down. Walls activated for Colorado College. EMP finds one for one. Shriner. Definitely could be more patient with it, but regardless, Colorado College is coming on top of this team fight. They already have four down for none. Diva still alive and Orissa. Very soon they'll be going down. Young Lee's gonna find Mystic Monkey with the help of his turret confidence. Will we get a revive off? She's getting very well Ooh, herself. Who does it taken out by the Mora Ball? Here's Trident Tennis Keep Call College Live. Trigger Freak goes down at 10 health. Not sure where he is right now. Big fight on point. Ooh, Trigger Freak finds a nice big charge from Shriner. They're trying to keep the team alive. Looks like they'll win this fight here and keep up the defense trigger free. Still trying to find something. And to be gets out, but just barely. Ooh, almost finds a headshot onto Moira. But with the small hitbox, can be pretty difficult. Some McCoy is pushing out here with Reaper. No ults for either team. They're continuing this fight. If you're looking for the angles, Maple goes in here, pile drives. Gets shredded, but not dead yet. EMP Villa for Bobson. Collar College tanks are very damaged. You gotta be careful. No Maple here for them this time. They will find two picks on the point, though. Confidence healing up the team as much as she can. Sure, he comes up big with two picks. Uncontested on the point. Ooh. Diva tries to stop her before anything else happens. They're not gonna find it. Can you find the touchdown for the, the shot? Ooh. No, it's taken out by Coalescence. That's up with a seven player kill streak. Nice by him. Car College is going to have to back out, regroup for another big push. Mercy actually popped ult there. Come in a little early. It doesn't seem like they're pushing quite yet. Oh, it looks like it was a swap, so that makes sense. Might see Trigger Free come over to something else, but Widow's currently pretty effective. Here are the walls for that vision. Confidence on Ana and said it's a good choice. Rather see Nana boost in Valkyrie. Ooh. Gets chunked by a headshot from Young Lee. Maple in the back line. Here's Transcendence from might keep the team alive. And how about the tanks? Maple still pretty far back here. They're behind the Shriner. Shriner trying to focus fire. EMP finds one of Starscream. Deeper bomb could be dangerous. Oh, no. It's okay. It'll be far enough away. Maple, Maple discorded. Shriner finds his defense and keeps it going. Trigger free though. Uncontested. Finds the pick. Diving on. Pretty low. Ooh, finds the health pack just in time. Car College still has not seen much success getting that second tick of the point. They got very close, but not quite. They have three minutes left to make it happen. Bobbitson now on Ash. Shriner's too far spread apart to. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Death lost fights too. <laughs> this little course looks for that one. I'll slow down Carl College's attack. Nothing to worry about. Three minutes still on the clock. Carl College is just going to have to regroup. 
Wait for the DPS carries to get back into here. And try that again now. Shrine Reverse is going to be down to Death Blossom. But still have plenty of ultimates across the board. Tanks from Cog College go in. Doom Forts fights the... Fight takes his fight here. Transcendence from Wolfpack. Keep the team alive. That's two up for Shriner. Three up now. Trigger free. Split up from the rest of the team. Solid defense so far from Shriner. Collar College is making this next fight happen. Trigger free here. <coughs> on Brigitte. Definitely have the ult advantage this time around. Only Bongos from Shriner University and Carl College finds himself with three ultimates. Maple will be pile driving, trying to throw out those bombs. Finds the kill onto Dismal Accords. He's getting pretty low himself. And trying to see if he can get in the line of sight of his healers. Diva out of mech as well. We'll be taken out. Young is also falling down. Carl College looking pretty strong here in this attack. He'll find three from Shriner. They're Falling down here, pretty okay. broken. Wolfpack also taken out. This will be potential second tick for Colorado College, unless Ryan is on the point now. There's a second tick. Diva now here. Some courts contesting. Diva bomb. Colorado College not all hiding behind the pillars. Pretty smart choice there. Here's Rally from Trigger Free. And they can just happen. Bob comes out from <clears throat> Bobbitson. Pretty crucial. Turret shielded behind the Winston Shield. Cannot be slept. They don't even have Nana, but that's all right. End the round for Colorado College. They finished up with about a minute left. Yes, I think it was a minute. Let's see. Nice. Pretty close. Good attack from Colorado College. Nice defense from Shriner. Making it happen until a minute left. If you're not aware, Overwatch is fairly attacker uh, favored in most of. Mm -hmm. Maps. Usually pretty hard to hold the first point if you're on defense, so Rock and Car College may not be able to hold them off. We'll see how much luck they have with that. Ooh. He not go in through there? <laughs> That's <laughs> unfortunate. Can't play through <laughs> that door, sorry. Oh, college will be electing to go a dive composition for what it looks like so far. Um, we're going to see this small court on what's been working out for him. Now to round up, there comes Boppinson still deciding what he's going to want to run. Looks like Brig will be the choice. Instead, they'll be swapping trigger free onto a Widow. See how Shriner pulls off this offense. Still sticking with the Sombra. Maple with the pile driver finds Young Lee. Is not hacked. Ooh. Trigger has a big with two quick headshots. Call <laughs> Shriner is trying to find the point. Bobbison finds the third pick here. Trigger free. Already half ult charge. <laughs> the crowd cheering out for trigger free. As I just saw Another his one play. on the board for him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Shriner has the right heart shield to stop that from happening. Trigger free covering his back. We'll see if Shriner groups up a little more effectively this time around. You saw those those supports get exposed behind my heart shield. Trigger free wasted no time in taking those folks out. Maybe Somber can also cause a distraction onto Widow. Help the group up more here. Much better grouping. Not as effective for Widowmaker. Nice work. Maple finds the disruption. Shriner <coughs> doing a great job here. Ooh. Maple still <laughs> running through the team. Maybe that's going to open up the line of sights Trigger Free needs. Meanwhile, looks like Monkeys are going to be on the point. Trying to focus down the Zarya, getting some nice headshots. Good damage. 
Shadow though is pretty big here. Finds two on Color College's side. Maple is on the point, has mine field available. Shrine University looking fairly strong. They find lose to the members. Oh. Nice charge. Ooh, nice Maple. grenade. Able to keep him alive just in time. Sacrus to confidence there, keeping Maple alive. Now he's gonna be chasing down the Lucio with the help of his health pack. Lucio gonna get out of here with the help of Zarya. Has minefield ready for deployment. Might be seeing a nano boost maple here fairly soon. Some cards with EMP available could be pretty crucial next fight. We discovered why Entity can't hack and taking damage, unfortunately. Maple finds one, Entity finds Starscream as well. You don't really find Profits in. I hear a sound barrier from Shriner. Confidence on the high ground, filling up the team. Nice pile driver from Maple. Lucio will not be getting chased down. He is not able to finish him off. Instead, he'll turn his attention to Cryptic Lore that's still in point. And a boost for Entity. Gonna find at least one. There's the MP for Dizzle Cords. They stopped that from happening, though. Maple finds himself in the thick of things, but he comes up on top with two kills. Maple still rolling here. <laughs> finds another <laughs> one. The buff a while ago allows Ball to reload while in ball form. It's pretty important here. And able to deploy his shield while rolling out. Also pretty effective, but Shriner University is about 40 seconds before they cap this point, or that's what they need to do within this next 40 seconds. Bopatin will be popping his rally, giving his team some armor. That's going to be very efficient. Both rallies here. To be in the thick of things, I hear Graviton. Looks like from Shriner University. Sound barrier from Kyle College gonna protect the team. No picks for Shriner from that. Palpatine hacks. Really important. Minefield on the point finds Benjakis. Two to one here. Advantage Colorado College. Maple still doing damage. Confidence finds a third pick. Now three, only six seconds left on the clock. Zarya's gonna be stepping on point, trying her best to contest now. A Primal Rage Winston might do it, but he was very low. Call College will take round two as well. Pick up a second win for the board. Nicely done, nicely done. <laughs> Yugly. Oh, this is classic. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty high play there. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> MVP right there, ladies Pick and gentlemen. Up all the cards. We can. Can we get him to ten? Oh, no. <laughs>